I kind of feel like it's kind of like the flu, you know, it's kind of just part of life now and just keeping up with shots and stuff. We're still being cautious. It is surging. COVID concerns in the heat of July. We're seeing increased rates of COVID and specifically here on the West Coast, we're seeing increased rates. Dr. Dean Blumberg is the chief of pediatric infectious diseases at UC Davis Children's Hospital. The data on this summer surge is clear. The state's dashboard shows right now the COVID test positivity rate is the highest it's been for at least a year and deaths have gone up over the last 60 days. These mutations are different enough that even people with previous vaccination or previous infection with other unrelated strains, they don't have that much immunity to these new strains. Although the virus tends to impact adults more than children, Dr. Blumberg says school being back in session could slow the spread. So if kids aren't traveling and they're in school in a more stable environment with regular group of contacts, you know, maybe that'll be better. Certainly children do get infected and infections can occur in school, but it seems to be different than influenza, whereas school children can primarily drive the, the infections within a community. His advice? I think people should be concerned, should protect themselves. Getting the flu, getting COVID, neither of those are good to get. And we still see thousands of deaths from each of those. So it's important to be protected against both of those. Um, but it is going to be similar to the flu one day. I hope it will be very similar to influenza. In Sacramento, Brittany Hope, KCRA 3 News. Dr. Blumberg says that he expects an updated vaccine that will better protect us from the variants causing the summer surge. And that should be available the first week of September.